Hello, hello, hello. Good evening and welcome to the, to the revision section of the Senior High School uh, on Joy Learning Channel. Tonight we have physics and I am your facilitator. My name is Japheth N.T. Amankwa, but I love to be called N.T. and you know, right? Tonight is going to be another wonderful section with you out there. And our topic or, yeah, I mean topic of discussion tonight is going to be vectors. You can repeat that after me. Vectors. Good. Why vectors? Vectors because for my form threes, you know, we are some few weeks to our seat. I keep telling you that if you breathe deep, you will realize that you smell the scent of wasi. You know what I mean. Wasi is just at the corner. And so it's very important to use moments like this to go back into the archives, to look at some of the challenging topics we met in Form 1 and Form 2. And so tonight we are looking at vectors. Some of you met vectors in Form 1, others in Form 2. Today, we are coming to revisit vectors. We are coming to revise vectors so that as we prepare towards the WASI, we will be able to face vectors should we have questions on vectors. And now to my Form 1s and Form 2 who are, who are listening to me. Some of you might have already done vectors. Some of you are yet to do vectors. Whether you have done it or yet to do Tonight is another opportunity, in fact, a great one, of course, for you to redo it or learn it and learn it once and for all. And so at this point, I want to urge all of you to sit, relax, get your notebooks, get your calculators and your mathematical set. Yes, tonight you will need your mathematical set because we shall be doing some scale drawings, you know. When it comes to vectors, you know, sometimes you have to do some scale drawings. So you get your mathematical set and then as much as possible, like I always tell you, put away all things that will distract you, especially your mobile phones. Yes, I know. Getting to some point in the process, I know you would have to call in to bring your input, your questions, but for now, as much as possible, let the phones stay away from you so that you listen with rapt attention. With that, I believe, you are going to have a fun learning and a very fruitful one, of course. Once again, I want to welcome you to this section. And our topic tonight is vectors. Vectors. What are vectors? Before we go to what vectors are, by the end of this lesson, I would want you to note the following objectives. By the end of this section, each and every one of you out there should be able to distinguish between what a vector quantity and a scalar quantity is. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to tell me the difference between a vector quantity and a scalar quantity. Again, you should be able to identify vectors and scalars from a list of physical quantities. It means that if I've given you a list of physical quantities, you should be able to tell me which ones are vectors and which ones are scalars. Then, you should be able to distinguish between the basic trig functions. We met them, you remember, during the time we were doing vectors and some of our mathematical expressions, we met the so katwa. You remember so katwa, where we have the sine function being the so opposite adjacent, and then our cos function as ka adjacent hypotenuse, and then our tangent function being twa, which is the opposite and the adjacent. Tonight, we shall revisit them and look at how they differ. And then also, we should be able to add vectors. My brothers and sisters out there, this is where we are going to have challenges, adding of vectors. And over here tonight, we shall be looking at the graphical method of adding vectors. And then we shall as well 
look at the analytical methods of vector addition. And then finally, which I'll be testing before we close, you should be able to solve vector related problems. And like I said, I would be testing that with questions. So get ready for questions. You have to prove to me that at the end of this section, you would be able to solve vector related problems. Well, so I believe now your mathematical set, your notebooks, your pens, everything is ready. And so we can just set the ball rolling. We go. Scalars. What are scalars? Whether scalars or scalar quantities, it's the same thing. And we, say, we met this even in measurement. We said that any quantity that can be quantified is called physical quantity. And the physical quantity, we talked about the fact that can be grouped in basic and derived. Now, if you take all the basic quantities and all the derived quantities, you know that we can also subgroup them under scalars and vectors. And so what did we say scalars are? Scalars are quantities in uh, physics that has only magnitude or that has magnitude only. Scalars, they are those quantities that have only magnitude. What do we mean by magnitude? Magnitude means that they have only number values with units. They have only number values with units. They do not have any direction. So, for example, distance. Distance. Distance is the interval between two fixed points. Just the interval. We do not care which direction the interval is. All that matters to us is the interval between the two fixed points. And that is distance. Time. I have never heard anyone saying that the time is um, 3 p.m. To the, to the east or to the, to the south. 